I don't know that it really is getting bigger. I think we're paying a lot more attention to it now, and I think that that's great. Um, and in fact, some studies show that it's actually declined a little bit in the last 10 years. So that's wonderful news. I think that the fact that we're talking about it is really healthy. And as adults, it's our job to take care of kids, to provide them with a healthy environment, and to help kids figure out how to navigate social life and society. And the fact that Sometimes people are mean in our world. Sometimes people aren't very nice. And as adults, it's our job to help kids figure out how to deal with that. Sometimes we don't recognize bullying because kids don't want us to know. Um, they don't want us to get involved. They want to handle it themselves, so they'll do their best to hide it from us. The other thing is that sometimes we, as parents, can overreact. Um, kids can get into lots of little skirmishes that really don't require us to get involved. So it can be very hard for parents to know when they should and shouldn't get involved in a situation. The most important thing to remember is to be talking to our kids all the time, checking in with them all the time to ask how things are going, and that you might ask that just any day when your kid seems happy. Um, so that it's not something that you're asking just when your child looks like they're upset or something's bothering them. If you're checking in all the time and if you're a neutral listener, if you're good at listening and not getting upset about things that they tell you, your child's going to be more likely to tell you when something's really bothering them and they're a little bit worried about telling you because they think you're going to get upset. So if you can remain calm when they talk to you, they're going to be more likely to tell you about what's bothering them and what's going on.